morning. Can you see my sweat? Can you see that? I just finished today's workout. Whew. And I didn't even go super heavy today. I kept a bell that was pretty comfortable for me and it was still quite a workout. Check it out. Here's today's workout. We have, uh, after the warm up, which will be exercises you all pretty much know, um, if you've been working out with me so far, we are gonna do two chains, two chain circuits. A chain is when you complete a list of exercises all with the same weight and with the same hand, and then you do all the same exercises on the other side. Our first chain, is called a shallow six, and it's gonna be five rounds of three reps. So five times three, if my math skills are, is uh, 15 reps. So you'll be doing 15 reps of something total with one bell. So by the end of that round on just one side, you should be huffing and puffing. So you're gonna do a one-armed swing, a one-armed clean, a one-armed uh, rack hold squat, a press, a high pull, and a snatch. And then you'll do all those same exercises on your other side. The next circuit is called a sanitary six because we've got more cleans and halos somehow seem sanitary as do windmills. I mean, don't they, right? You're gonna do a goblet lunge uh, for five reps. These are all five reps, three rounds. So same 15 reps, just less sets, more reps. Uh, halos. Miller Rose, you're gonna do a chest press from the floor or a staggered push-up, a clean and lunge combo, and finally the windmill. I will be demonstrating all of those. Here's what you should know. Whatever leg is forward, that's the side that you're working. So for your goblet lunges, if you're gonna start on your right side, your right leg is gonna be forward for all of the lunges. Same thing with the clean and lunge. That's gonna make it a lot easier to keep track of where you are. When you're haloing, you'll halo over to the right side if you're doing your right side. The last circuit we're gonna do is a 10 minute EMOM, every minute on the minute. You're gonna do 16 swings. You can do two-handed swings, eight one-arm swings, hand-to-hand -hand swings, whatever kind of swings you want, you do, you choose. Just do 16 of them. All right, here we go, getting into it with Two rounds of the warm up, five reps each, five banded bugs. You're gonna do five goblet squats. Keep those elbows inside the legs, keep those heels on the floor. I'm not gonna show you all five of these dead stop swings, five of those. Let that bell land smoothly and not plop down. I talked about that a little at the last workout. Nice deep hinge there, like I'm sitting back on an invisible chair. All right, Turkish sit-ups, with or without weight. Um, since you're doing two rounds, you can do one, rate weight, blah, 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 one round body weight and the other round with weight. Notice that knee, how the knee goes to the, in the direction I'm going. That's what helps keep that other foot from popping up. It's popping up a little bit, but not too much keeping the shoulder packed, elbow locked, then you'll do the other side. The first circuit, the shallow six, three swings on the right, three cleans on the right. Looking at the board, three squats, elbow remains inside the thigh, going deep, right into the press, two, three, high pull, which is a really high swing with a soft arm, kind of like you're starting a lawnmower and three snatches. All right, so I'm slowing this side down just so you can see, especially the clean. So I want you to watch my elbow it does not pop away from my side. That's what keeps the bell from smacking and hurting your forearm. And then on the press, make sure you don't let your wrist open. 
look at that soft elbow, kind of like a bow shape, and really squeeze your butt at the top of those high pulls. That'll help that bell kind of float in that horizontal position. And finally, I'm gonna show you the profile verge. And I just want you to get a look at that elbow. Colleen's seem to be the kettlebell move that trips most people up. I really like this circuit. You should definitely do this circuit. Remember, it's five sets of three reps. I sneak in a little rest at the top of those snatches. I don't just pull it right back down. I think I take an extra breath. All right, here's the sanitary six. So goblet lunges means that you hold the bell in the goblet position. Five goblet lunges. This is my left side. Then I'm going to halo to the left, holding the bell upside down. And uh, I'm trying not to rest between any of these exercises. I'm going right from one to the other. There is no editing in this sequence. Five rows. Sometimes your exercises will feel light. Sometimes they'll feel heavy. I decided not to switch back and forth between different sized bells and just let some be light and or heavy. Presses, it looks just like a Turkish get up. I did not do the staggered push up because uh, these just feel better for me right now. The clean and lunge is a combination move. You're cleaning and as the bell hits the rack position, you step back into your lunge. Practice those, find that flow. And then finally, the windmill. So I'm gonna point both my feet in the same direction and I'm gonna really crank that hip back. The aim here is to hold the bell kind of over the same location. So I don't wanna lean my torso over, I wanna send my hip back. And that's how I find my hinge. For the EMOM, you're gonna need your timer app. You're gonna set it for 10 minutes. You're gonna do your 16 swings at the top of every minute, and then you'll have maybe 30 or so seconds to rest until the start of the next minute when you'll do another 16 swings. There are so many different variations you can do here. Eight and eight, two, 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 four, 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 hand to hand. Just have fun with it. You have 10 rounds. It's like you're competing with your own mind to just get through it. Thank you for working out with me. If you are digging my content, like it, share it, subscribe it. Stay safe, stay strong, and stay home. Whew.